Okay, man, I'm gonna go. Alright, um, we're gonna do like two more things right now. One thing is, uh, where's Wiz? Wiz, come up here. Go ahead. Come on, come up go here, go man. Ahead, go ahead. Come here. Go ahead. I need you up here with me, man. These people need to know who K Wiz is. Am I putting you on the spot? You sure? Cause Wiz, I think Wiz has a great story to share with us, man. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Um, go ahead. Tell them, tell them your background. Just you know how you started the whole. Well, I got, I got, I got a witness. My cousin Vic is in the building right here with the camera. I'm 43 years old. I started DJing when I was 11. That's why I said 30 plus. Mm -hmm. I started literally with two different systems. Turntable and amp speakers, turntable and amp speakers, and I would, I would mix the volumes. Wow. Then I would use somebody else's set, and I became a pain in the ass. <laughs> going to your house and DJ, going to your house and DJ, going to your house. Somebody, they need a turntable, bang. They need that mixer, bang. Got my own now. Started DJ. I grew up in the Bronx in the 70s. I knew hip hop before there was hip hop. No doubt. That's right. There was no hip hop when I was listening to music as a kid. That's right. You got hip hop. You got whatever music you. I had disco and pop. <laughs> That's all that was on the radio. Disco and pop. Yep. And soul. That's it. And soul. WABC. Dan Ingram. <laughs> oh, yeah. Who the hell is that? Old school, these, right? these were the radio DJs. The, Good morning, America, and that kind of stuff. I saw a flash carrying crates down my block. I saw all these old school DJs popping off the crate, the 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 the, the, the light, the the lamppost, plugging into the lamppost, and DJing. I would walk in the park. I wanted to go to the swings. Is that a speaker? Holy shit, that shit is big. Dudes get on and they making the crowd move. I want to do that. So I want to say this just real quick before I forget it. If you're doing this for money, walk out. I haven't made a lot of money. I made money. I don't do it for the money. I ended up Stop in DJing for a minute, not to that, but just to stop to produce. I never charged any artist that came through any money. I love what I do. I've done parties for free because I love what I do. I want to get on the turntables and say, damn, look what I'm doing. Wow. They're throwing their, their hands in the air and they're dancing because of me. I got them dancing. When I get off the, yo, that was hot, that was good, you good, you, that's good enough. You wanna give me a quarter, 200, whatever you want. Give me nothing. I'm leaving there going, this was hot. I had a good time. Everybody had a good time. So when you start saying, I wanna make money, do this with your money. Don't get the new Jordans. Put it back. If you got a Linear Tech amp, go get that Crown, go get that QSC, go get that whatever. Don't get fly and still have some BS equipment. Step it up to the next software. Step it up to the next whatever. Do Always do better. Always do better. So I DJ. I did a lot of parties. A lot with my cuz. <clears throat> about some time in October. Well, I stopped DJing for about 10 years when the CDs came out. No disrespect to anybody who uses CDs. That's not me. I need vinyl. And I was like, I can't do it. I tried it. I can't press buttons. No matter how good I was on the tables, I was garbage with buttons to me. If I can't do what I was doing, I ain't doing it no more. DJ a long time. Stop. Hell with this. Hell with music. Hip hop went in off. That way, so I'm like, you know what? I saw where it came from. I was in the golden age of hip hop in the 90s, and I loved it. When it started doing some other shit, and then the CDs, I'm done, I'm good. October, 
I had a stroke. Ended up in the hospital for a week. Went into the ER, my blood pressure was 200 over 146. I got lucky. It was in the base of my brain and not on the side. I decided maybe I want to DJ again. True story, I was whack. I had Serato, like yo, finally I could do this. I, got, I could do vinyl again. I was garbage. My wife came in the room, I got tears coming down my cheek. Well, I'm trying to scratch. I'm saying, do this. And my arm is doing some other shit. I'm trying to do this. The fader ain't going over. I'm like, wow. I'm done. Just when I wanted to do it again, it's not working. I ran into my man Gil Boogie again. Gil know how I used to do. I would kill the turntables. I never say, yo, Gil, I'm going to get on. Give me twenty dollars. Give me fifty. What? What you need? You want me to do a half hour set? I got you. You want me to rock it? I got you. you want me to do some house? I got you. Never. Give me. You get paid, right? Good. Take your paper. I. I don't want none of it. I just want you to do better. I want people to remember your party. This is Gil Boogie set. I'm just here to help. Y'all need to do that. Y'all need to help out. DJs can't be selfish. You can't be selfish. You gotta be able to say, I just wanna rock the crowd. Recently, through modern technology, DJing on the internet. Musical force in the back. They came a little late. That's my boys back there. They gave me the opportunity to join their crowd. For years, dude's been saying, yo, Ed, come get down. Yo, Ed, come get down. Yo, Ed, uh, okay, but I'm not ready. To my head, I'm like, yeah, do it. Dude, didn't have it. You rocked it last night, though. Thank you. <laughs> so now, I don't, you know, I feel good. I got, I'm getting it. I'm not 100%, but I'm getting back to where I was. And right now, like he said, uh, to tell that story, don't let nothing stop you. Again, I had a stroke, dude. Watch your health. Stop eating canned, you know, I'm not going to go into health, but canned foods and fried foods and all that crap that they say you're not supposed to eat. I'm here to tell you, that shit is true what they tell you. I'm, I'm living proof that watch what you put in your body. Here we go. I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. I'm impressed. I gotta shake your hand. I'm impressed. And this right here, I'm impressed with this even more because when, when I grew up, when we started years ago, Gus, yeah, DJs didn't help each other. No, no. No, they didn't get together. No. You barred your man's records. Yo, when you give my shit back, I'm making the tape. Never. Yo, let me get my records back. I'm making the nigga. I just left your house. <laughs> Those are my records now. You ain't getting records back. Yo, I like, gave you a crate. I got like three records missing. Oh no, nah, they weren't in there when I borrowed it. Oh, man, <laughs> you know, this is incredible right here. And I already told. I can't remember who I told. Next year or the next one can't be in this room. No, it ain't gonna be in this room. It's going to be somewhere bigger and better. <laughs>